Yes friends, today we are going to learn about MIG welding basics. The most sought after job, particularly in Europe, Canada, United States and in Middle East. Welcome again to Welter QC the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. I am Vincent. So friends, let us start discussing about MIG welding or GMAW. GMAW is the AWS terminology that is for gas metal arc welding, also known as MIG or MAG welding. The principles of operation of the MIG welding. It uses a continuous solid wire for filler metal and a shielding gas to protect the well zone. So let us understand the GMAW principles. As explained earlier, the MIG welding or GMAW is a continuous welding process. It's, it's a semi-automatic process. As you can see, the wire is fed continuously through the gun and a shielding gas is provided to protect the weld pool. It's the wire feeder, what you have seen is, is the entire machine. The wire, the wire is fed through the welding gun and this is the weld, welding power source, the gun. As stated just now, it's a continuous wire feeding process. It's, it's a semi-automatic welding process. One of the semi-automatic welding process which is being used uh, for uh, uh, production work especially all over the world in factories, in uh, various uh, well sites. Okay, so let us see the basic GMAW equipment. The first and foremost is the power source which is a constant voltage power source and uh, almost all time the polarity will be almost all time the polarity will be DCEP. This is a semi-automatic process. GMAW is a semi-automatic process. Uh, this is the wire spool, the wire, the electrode wire is in a spool which is normally in 15 kg or even lower than that, 5 kg or uh, in between 7.5 kg or something and always it requires a shielding gas to protect the weld metal. This is the shielding gas and shielding gas in most of the cases especially for uh, uh, carbon steel or mild steel welding it will be CO2 100% CO2 we will discuss in detail about all those things so this is in general we are discussing about the main uh, the main equipment components will be the power source the wire feeder most important wire feeder and uh, the gun the MIG gun, MIG welding gun and shielding gas along with other power cable, input power, cable assembly, all those things are there. So we will discuss about all those things in detail. You can see the, as I just explained now, mostly uses a constant voltage power source and DC EP polarity. The polarity will be direct current electrode positive 
the shielding gas is supplied and this is the wire the, the electrode wire which is continuously fed continuously fed through the gun so the welding is continuous semi automatic it produces a high quality welding yields high productivity because the weld metal deposit is very high and the efficiency level of around you can achieve around 93 to 98 percent means wastage is almost nil or very very few because you don't have to throw out any steps like in case SMAW or stick welding electrodes so that is the another beauty of this process here as you can see that this gun is a part of gun uh, it is showing the internal components current conductor the wire through a liner and shielding gas and this the wire is continuously fed this is the gas nozzle and the shielding gas which is coming from here and is protecting the weld metal the arc and the solidified weld metal solidified weld metal here and work proceeds As explained earlier, the GMAW is the AWS terminology for the process. This is widely known as MIG welding or MAG welding. If you are using an active gas or reactive gas, only then it is known as MAG welding. But in general, everybody is calling it uh, MIG welding, even if it is actually MAG welding. In some, most of the cases, if, especially if you are using a CO2 as shielding gas, it is MAG welding, not MIG welding. Alright, so MIG welding is whenever you are using an inert gas, only then it, is, it can be called MIG welding. And the basic concept was introduced in 1920s by P. O. Nobel and was further developed and made available for the commercial purpose since 1948 onwards and it, the development is continuous. The improvement is continuous. So, okay friends, today we have covered the basics of MIG welding. In our next videos, that's in part 2, 3 and 4, we will be covering GMAW equipments, key components of MIG gun, GMAW electrode identification systems, and finally the advantages and limitations. Until then, goodbye and thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.